The eighth grade recently finished their large physics unit, and we looked at all sorts of aspects of energy. We talked about car collisions. We talked about Newton's laws of motion. We rolled things down our ramp outside. But we've more recently moved into a large chemistry unit. So we're studying matter. One of the important and fun aspects of matter is the effect of temperature. And so we talk about how water can exist as a solid, a liquid, or a gas. And we talk about why it changes its properties with temperature and what happens with other materials. One of the funnest things we do is to play with dry ice. And so with dry ice we can look at how dry ice turns into a gas and rolls off a table. We can talk about how it makes pennies squeak, which almost sounds like Lincoln screaming. We can then put dry ice as it tries to expand from a solid into a gas in tight containers safely throw them outside yeah. and then watch the expansion. <laughs> what did it do? Oh, pretty darn close. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I see it. It's so close. Whoa. 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 Another very popular activity we do each year is to look at the effect of temperature on glassware. Glass, of course, is famously rigid material, and yet when it's heated enough, you can turn it into something that will stretch and bend and turn in different directions. So after we look at matter in broad ways, we can start to focus on specifics, and we'll be using this periodic chart a great deal. We'll be talking about how atoms behave and how their position on the chart allows us to make big predictions about the behavior. We'll be looking at metals and how their properties like conductivity are important. And we'll be talking about things like semiconductors or metalloids and how those properties are used in calculators. And even the nonmetals over here on the far right hand side of the periodic chart and how those properties are used to make things that are great insulators.